since this is a class in mechanics, uh, an obvious question to ask would be, what is mechanics? Um, and so mechanics is basically how, intera how interactions between objects affect their motion. So for example, if we have a particle traveling to the right, and another particle traveling to the left, toward the first particle, eventually, um, you know, as we can imagine, they'll collide. And then something's going to happen to them after that collision. Uh, and so that's what mechanics is really is really trying to do. How how do interactions, sometimes not even physical interactions between objects, affect their motion? So it seems simple enough to state. Um, so you're probably wondering, or maybe not, why is physics hard? Well, first of all, who says it's hard? Um, this seems to be the impression I get from a lot of freshmen taking this class, is that, is that physics is really difficult, either because they've taken it before in high school, or because they're too afraid to take it because they've heard from other places that physics is hard. Part of that is probably um, because it involves a lot of math, and I know a lot of people that just aren't comfortable with, with having to do a lot of math. But there's actually another reason that physics seems harder. And the reason is, it's not intuitive. And I'll give you an example. Let's say we have a feather. So we have some feather from a bird's wing. And let's say uh, we also have a hammer. And instead of being on Earth, let's say we're someplace in space. You know, for example, the moon or Mars or some place where there's no atmosphere, so there's no air. If we drop the hammer and the feather, some place with no air, which one's going to hit the ground first? So I want you to pause the video for a second. I want you to think about it. Maybe it doesn't take you that long to think about, but think just think about to yourself quickly. With no air around, which is going to hit the earth first, the feather or the hammer? Okay, so fortunately, um, during the Apollo 15 moon mission, they actually did this experiment. So the video is a little blurry here, um, but in one of his hands is a hammer and the other is a feather. And if we play it, he's going to drop them both. And sure enough, they actually hit the ground at the exact same time. Okay, so let's watch that again. So if you've never taken a physics class before, or if nobody's ever told you this result before, you know, very few, probably none of you, would have actually guessed that it would be both, that both would actually hit the ground at the same time. And the reason is because on Earth, you know, typically that's not what happens. If we drop a feather, you know, it comes to the ground much slower than a hammer does. And so we develop these um, ideas in our head, and so we think, oh, well, something heavier must fall faster than something lighter. And it turns out that that's not true at all. And in the next video, we'll talk about why. But to leave you um, with another example, um, something to think about as to why physics is not intuitive, Let's think about this. Let's say I have an object, another particle, and it's out in space, moving at some constant speed v. And there's nothing else around it. There's nothing that it can interact with, either by any kind of gravitational force or electromagnetism or bump into or anything. There's no other objects around um, at all. So the question is, if we look back some time later, a, um, is it going to be moving faster than it would on Earth? Um, in other words, if you were on Earth and you had something moving at a constant speed and then eventually uh, you looked at it a little while later, is it going to come to a stop faster than it would on Earth? Is it going to come to a stop slower? 
In other words, because we're out in space, there's nothing to interact with. Is that going to mean that it's going to come to stop, stop slower than it did on Earth? Or will it never come to a stop? So I want you to think about that uh, before you watch the next video uh, when I'll give you the answer to that.